Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today I'm gonna to show you how you're able to attach your Kadena miners onto F2 pool and also talk about the KD boxes. Just how profitable are they? How long does it take to do the ROI? And also how much Kadena does each box mine each day? So if you're watching this video, either you're interested in purchasing the KD box or maybe you own a KD box and you notice that really the only option to put it on is DX pool, but DX pool isn't really that great of a mining pool. And also it has a really high rejection rate. So this video is going to show you all the steps you need to know to put it onto F2 pool because what you might see on the internet or what you might see online, it might not be the exact details and you might run into some issues and it's not going to really fully attach to the pool. So here is F2 pool. You can see that it says balance of KDA, paid KDA. Uh, yesterday's revenue KDA. So it's all sitting here uh, and I do have two KD boxes that is on this uh, pool right here. If you go to payouts, this is the payout that I get every single day for two miners. So that means, you know, for a couple days it was at like 3.1, 2.8, 2.7, 2.6. So we'll just say 1.3 Kadena a day per box. So we're also gonna look at where I have mine being put into. So you can see all of the deposits is each and every single day. I'm using Hotbit.io just because out of all of the exchanges and out of all the wallets you can use, I liked this one. Uh, KuCoin is also pretty good as well, but I just have most of my Kadena going into Hotbit. I do have some in KuCoin, I have some in Zelcor. So one of the other main wallets you might read about is Zelcor. I'm not also a big fan of that. I'd rather have it be on exchange so this way I can do whatever I want with it. Uh, and where you can still purchase one is going to be asicmarketplace.com because really this one, they, they ship in a really good time frame. It's also a certified, verified vendor uh, location where you can purchase all these miners. ASIC Marketplace is one of the places that I also get all of my ASIC miners for here and also the mining facility. Now, anytime you try to buy this off of goldshell.com, the website breaks. <laughs> so I've tried multiple times getting it from gold shell i was not able to uh the website breaks down every single time and so this is a good location to purchase one because all of the prices are going to be pretty high just because of what kadena has done going from 80 cents all the way up to like 25 dollars. and right now we're sitting really close to 12 dollars and 45 cents and actually if you look at the retracement level so here is the fibonacci retracement from the very bottom for, so basically from the swing low to the swing high, usually most coins always comes down to the 618 level. Uh, and this is how I always take a look at any coin that I wanna purchase. I really never buy anything until it goes down to the 618. But again, sometimes they only go to the 0.5, which is why I have this yellow box. And if you watch all my all my videos or all of my, my tweets, if you see a yellow box, this is the retracement zone. This is really the, the purchasing zone of what you're looking for. And you can see it's sitting exactly on my line right now so this is where i would suggest if it if it dips down this is a full retracement and this is where you'd want to purchase even though it candled down or it wicked down over here that's just because the entire market just died everything went down everything follows bitcoin that's why it came down more but this is really where it should be with a normal retracement so this is the perfect time to buy kadena if you are looking uh, to purchase some so this these are the steps that you want to take to attach your KD boxes into F2 pool, which is why you guys are here. So what you wanna do is first connect your box to your ethernet and you plug it in and once it's basically getting connected, on my Windows or my PC right here, um, I have Advanced IP Scanner. So this is just a free program, you download it, it's called Advanced IP Scanner. Once you open this one up, so once you hit on start, what you wanna look for is gonna be a blue monitor with a arrow. So this arrow right here will actually open up the dashboard for this miner. And you can see that we have a bunch of different miners right up over here. So this is actually over in our mining facility. So down over here, the blue monitor are the ones that are connected here. Uh, and then here is that arrow. So I have mine uh, named KD box two. So I always name them number one, number two, number three, number four. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna find the one that is your KD box, you hit on the arrow, double click on HTTP and then normally you'll see a screen that, that pops up in the in its username and password. So you wanna use admin, admin. But I've already opened it up today just because I was playing with it. As you can see, uh, my hash rate went down. Uh, but anyways, what you wanna do is you wanna go into minor. Now, once you go into minor, this is your pool settings. So in order for you to add this to a pool, on the top you wanna to go to unlock 
And this one is username is always admin. And then the initial password, brand new, is one through nine. Now, once you unlock this, uh, what you're gonna see is the option down here that it says unlocked and you go to add. So what you wanna add in is going to be your wallet address and then you wanna put in the pool information. So this is the main screen that you see and you see that it always says DX pool. It's really only one option. And again, I'm not a big fan of DX pool. And so this is where you get your info. You go to F2 pool information or the F2 pool website. Once you go to the F2 pool website, you're gonna click on labs. Now inside of labs, this is where you see KDA. Now, normally you'd wanna copy this entire thing if you copy this entire thing, it is not going to work. You only want to copy from KDA. You do not want to have the dashes or anything like that. So just copy KDA. Now, what I did was I put it into this little text document. So then this way you'd be able to open this up uh, while the screen is still open. So I copied and pasted that there. Now, the next thing you want to do, now that you have the pool information, you want to go inside of Hotbit.io or whichever wallet you want to use and you wanna copy that KDA wallet. So now that you have that done, you're just going to paste it here. And then once you have it all pasted, you have all of your details. So this is gonna be your wallet information, and then this is your pool information. So now that you have gone over into F2 pool and you got the pool info, you went to your wallet and you have the wallet info. Now what you wanna do is you wanna head inside of your KD box. Now this is where you wanna put in that information. So let's say that we go uh, inside of our text document. So we're gonna go inside of this text document here. So here is the pool information, copy, and then you're gonna paste it right there because what's gonna happen is this information will be placed in front of that. That's why if you, if you copy the whole thing, this information on the top is gonna to be in the, the box twice, and so it's not gonna work. So you only wanna put KDA information there, and then your username is gonna be that wallet address. And that's the thing that is, is, is different. So you're gonna take this wallet address, you're going to paste it. Now this is where you wanna put in what worker this is. So because this is dealing with my KD box number two, I'm putting in the wallet information dot zero, whoops, you want to do dot zero zero two. And then you just want to put in your, your, your password for this pool and you hit on apply. Now, once you hit on apply, it takes you to the screen here. And now you can see that your, your uh, wallet information and pool information is sitting right here. And you just want to make sure that you press and hold and you drag it to the top to make it active. So this one right here that says inactive, if I was to click and drag it to the top, which you can see here, drag the pool status bar up or down to change the priority. Once you drag it up and now it says active for that wallet that you are using. Uh, and you can see that this, this is in the KD, the, the, the F2 pool, mining pool right here. Once you have all that information, you just wanna hit on lock. And that's pretty much it. When you go inside of your home, then you're gonna see that it could have dropped because you, you changed information and now it went all the way back up. So really as a fast recap, Make sure you head into F2 pool and you take only this information here. Then you wanna go into wherever you're having it deposited into and a little rule of thumb, just put it into a little text document so then this way you don't get out of that screen because what happens is if you leave this screen where you're in that minor information, when you leave it, all, that, all the details gets deleted. So in order for it to stay, you might as well just have a little text document. So how are you able to get to this? Because what happens is you have normal pools. You have LT, you have your Litecoin, Bitcoin, Zcash, CKB, you have all these, but Kadena is not listed. You wanna go into login free account. So when you go to login free account, this is where you wanna input your wallet address. So my wallet address was this. So you copied and pasted your wallet address and you say that it was for Kadena and then you hit on go. And then it takes you into your pool. And then this is where you're gonna see that you're gonna have one online, two online, three online, whatever it may be. Uh, here is the uh, your miners information on how they're doing for their hash rate. And then also the payouts. So where is, you know, it's, it's gonna show you where it's gonna kinda go. This is the transaction ID right here. So this is a transaction ID of showing you where it's getting deposited into. And then this is the amount of what you're getting every single day. 
So how these prices are set up is they're taking a look at the price of the market today. They're looking at the price of the coin and then they're taking a look at how much you are able to mine per day. And then they basically state, okay, we're gonna put this price down because then it equals 10 to 12 months. So every miner that you ever purchase, they're creating a price point that would be able to have ROI in 10 to 12 months. Now, if you purchased the KD box before it exploded and it was at a much cheaper price point, which I think was $1,300, I believe, then your, your ROI has already been done and passed because Kadena went crazy. As you could tell, I mean, beforehand it was at 80 cents, it was at a dollar, and then it shot up to, you know, $28. So now let's talk about the whole profitability. So we're, now we're gonna go back inside of my little text document. So because we stated that each little Kadena box or the KD box is getting 1.3 Kadena a day, let's just say for 280 days, uh, that equals 364 Kadena. Now, if Kadena goes back up to $20, that means that it is, it is making $7,200 in that time frame, which is only 280 days. The reason why I did 280 days is because if Kadena goes back up to 25, then it's gonna take 280 days to basically pay it off. So this says 9,100, um, even though this one was like 9,280, but it's, it's, it's fairly close. So that is why the first number I did was 280 days. So again, after 280 days at 20 bucks, it's making 7280. And once it hits up back up into $25, it's making 9100 for 280 days. Now let's do the same math, but at the whole year. So 1.3 Kadena a day for the whole year, which is 365 days, you're getting 474 Kadena. Now at the price of $20, when you have 474 Kadena, then you've just made, uh, or you you got 9,490, which after, you know, you know a whole year at $20, um, it already pays off the machine. Now, if it was to go back up into $25, which is where it was, uh, then it would make 11,862. So after a whole year, you're, you will be profiting, basically you'll have your ROI, and then you just made a profit of $2,000, which is really not bad for a very, very small miner that does not take much electricity to run. Uh, usually the normal everyday household for the, the KD box or any of those small boxes is it usually takes about 50 to 60 cents to run a day. The electrical cost on it is, is fairly very, very, very small. So, you know, 1.3 Kadena a day, and right now it's at 1232. So that's gonna be, you know, a little bit uh, you know, it might be closer to maybe like $15 a day, whatever the, the math may come out as. But back when it was, you know, up at 25 bucks, you know, it's it's doing a really good job, especially where it used to be. Like when I when I was first starting to mine Kadena back here, um, I was only getting about like $4, $5 a day. And so even though you're getting less Kadena mined, you're still making more in terms of profit because the price is so much higher uh, than 80 cents. And this is just a massive dump. You know, for a while it was trading around 16 to $20 on average, just as a norm. So, so it's, it's actually pretty good. So that's pretty much really all I wanted to show. Uh, that is how you're able to go into the dashboard to put in uh, basically the F2 pool information with your wallet. Uh, and then this is where you're able to purchase the miner. This is where we're at for the price. Uh, and we really covered everything here in terms of how much you're able to make after 280 days or after 365 days at two price points of 20 or $25. So I hope that this video has helped you guys out. Watch it a few times if you can't remember what to do, uh, but really the F2 pool little trick, uh, the most important thing is inside of F2 pool, underneath labs, underneath Kadena, only, only copy and paste this information, not the whole thing, because it won't work. You have to use this information here. But I hope that this has helped you guys out. If it did, give this thing a big thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe if you've learned it from me and nobody else. Uh, and if you like this video, then you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.